more news concerning ISS problems. NASA experts sounds alarm over serious issues on the ISS. And they said, we don't know what's happening. As we know, its uh, time limit is uh, just expired. It's over 20 years old. The NASA experts sounded the alarm over a serious issue on the International Space Station, the ISS. He added that engineers have analyzed it and don't exactly understand why it is happening. Retired NASA astronaut Bill Shepard told a House committee hearing that damage to the ISS is a fairly serious issue. Well, of course it is. It comes after Russian cosmonaut Vladimir Solovyoy said the space station is facing irreparable failures. He said small cracks had been discovered in the Zarya Russian module, which could begin to spread over time. Previous cracks on the ISS led to air leaks and even pressure drops within the modules and therefore require urgent action to repair them. Mr. Shepard, who served as commander of Expedition 1, the first crew on the ISS, told congressional representatives that there are probably other cracks we have not found yet. That's frightening, isn't it? I mean, they're not even on the ocean as a, a craft, they're in space. He added, as far as I know, the Russian engineers and the NASA engineers, they've analyzed it, they don't exactly understand why these cracks are appearing now. The space expert said he had learned more about the cracks in two meetings of NASA's ISS Advisory Committee, which he recently joined. He said they are quite small, they're quite small, they look like scratches on the surface of the aluminum plate. Shepard told the House Committee that currently the cracks are not long enough to pose a serious problem, but he added that could change in time. Russia has often raised concerns over hardware and has suggested it could leave the ISS after 2025. Kindly support my Patreon account since YouTube has again demonetized my YouTube channel. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below. This is one of the NASA images of holes and scratches on the ISS, as you can see. This is frightening. So now, the station was built in 1998 as part of a joint project between Russia, the US, Canada, Japan, and several European countries. It was originally designed for a 15-year lifespan, so that lifespan, of course, is really uh, expired. It has now been running and used for 22 years. In September 2019, another space station module is Vesta, which provides living quarters for the cosmonauts, those are the Russian astronauts, started leaking air. Russian media previously support, uh, reported that Mr. Solovyi told the Russian Academy of Sciences there are already a number of elements that have been seriously damaged and are out of service. Many of them are not replaceable. After 2025, we predict an avalanche-like failure of numerous elements aboard the ISS, he said. NASA funds to keep operating the ISS through 2024 and is aimed to get an extension from Congress to continue the station's activities through 2028. But Mr. Shepard, a former NASA astronaut, said that NASA should first solve the mystery of the Zarya module, New Cracks. He said, getting to the bottom of this is a fairly serious issue, he says, I don't think the station's in any immediate danger, but before we clear the station for another, so many years of operational use, we should better understand this. The ISS will eventually be retired and pushed itself into the atmosphere to burn up. After that, NASA does not want to build a new station. The agency is recruiting private companies to do that instead. It's currently evaluating about a dozen space station proposals from various companies with the aim of distributing $400 million among two to four of them. I don't think that's a good idea because of the fact that a private company can go bust, it can uh, declare bankruptcy, and uh, we should have something that is, of course, uh, for example, what happens if you have a mission on the moon or somewhere else, or a space station outside of the moon or Mars? This is too much money to be... Um, 
uh, funded by a private organization. Anyway, please leave your comments on this. This is by Callum Hoare, Express UK. Thank you for your support.